Well, we're here at the field for another edition of Hot Seat. Carter Bainbridge with the Falmouth bullpen catcher, Willie Baker, America's bullpen catcher, the people's catcher. Willie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm excited. You know, this is awesome. It's been a great experience being here. And, you know, I've, I've loved getting to know the guys and, you know, learning learning from all of them and from all the coaches. It's, it's been a great ride. So Willie's a guy who's a lot behind the scenes, does plenty of work with the guys in the bullpen. But Willie, how long have you been here with the Doors? So I've been here with the team since the beginning of the summer, um, but I've grown up following the team. This was the one that I would come to. Um, I, I grew up in the next town over in Mashpee, and so coming to these games was, was just like a tradition with me and my dad. Um, so it's awesome to get to have the uniform on and be able to you know, help the team win however I can. And you do some catching over at Georgetown, right? How's that going? That was great. So I caught um, for the team in the fall, and then now I'm working in coaching um, over there as well, and that's what I think I want to get into. So that's what lends itself greatly to this too, being able to learn from these coaches as well as the coaches over at Georgetown um, and using, you know, still having fun catching, but also being able to, you know, learn about, you know, how to help guys get better and how to help teams win um, has just been great for me to be able to, you know, have that experience. So you've gotten to know a couple guys here from Syracuse, including myself. Does that Syracuse-Georgetown basketball rivalry mean anything to you? It's starting to mean more and more the more I talk to the upperclassmen and kind of get the history behind it. We won this year at our place, and so to be able to see that crowd and be able to be at that game and kind of feel the energy that was that was potent in that game, I, I, I can tell that it's definitely something there. So I'm, I'm excited for the next three years of being able to hopefully do what we did this year and uh, take care of you guys on um, over there at uh, Capital One. So is that basketball, is that a sport that maybe you like second best to baseball, is, or is it another sport behind baseball? It's yeah, it's it's second for me. I mean, I, I loved playing basketball in high school. Um, you know, my my team ended up going to play at, at um, the TD Garden in our um, semifinal game um, during my freshman year. So I've I've loved growing up, you know, with basketball with the Celtics, and you know, um, it's 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 definitely like my second favorite sport. I'd say. For sure. So shifting back over to catching, when you catch guys in the bullpen here, how quickly does it take you to tell whether or not they have their good stuff? Normally just a couple pitches. Um, I can tell how they react to what they throw. Guys will throw a breaking ball and it'll cut really well and they'll kind of start nodding their head like, yeah, like I got it today. And that's always exciting for me to know that we're going to have somebody come in and be able to shut down an inning. Um, and then some guys will, you know, spike one and I'll, you know, try to get a block down and let them know that, hey, you know, you guys can work on that and you guys can spike one and then get a feel for how that pitch is, you know, s supposed to come out of the hand and then they'll kind of get the groove and then um, hopefully go out there and do what they can do. So um, it's it's been great kind of getting a feel for how they react and, like I said, kind of lending that to coaching to be able to get that one quick look at the guys and realize, all right, like this is how they're feeling that day, you know. Definitely. And is there something that's difficult about catching bullpen or otherwise that you think people mostly don't know about? Um, I think especially early, not knowing the guys as well. You know, I, I was learning their first names and also having to figure out how their curveball breaks, and then they'll work on a new pitch, and then they'll have, you know, like just kind of – and the velocity. I mean, guys, you know, running up to 95, 96, you know, having that be the first time I've seen any of that. Um, you know, definitely it's it's a challenge. Sometimes the backdrop behind wherever the, the mound is will kind of make it a little tougher to see out of the hand. Um, but once I kind of get used to it, once I know the guy and know how their stuff moves, it's, it's kind of just about letting them feel comfortable back there and just making sure that I'm receiving it nice and easy so that they can you know, kind of get into their groove the way that they would on the mound in the game. So, so far this season, we're through a lot of games so far, and you've seen a lot of pitchers warm up in the bullpen. Do you have a couple names off the top of your head who you like warming up the most or the easiest to catch? Um, surprisingly, some of the guys that throw a little bit harder – it's it's nice to just have it come out of the hand and pop in the glove really loud and it, it's it's kind of like exciting to kind of catch these guys guys like like Jerron here and um, Mikey Tepper guys that throw pretty hard but it's just got ride to it and I can just come up from under it and just let it pop in the glove and it feels really good so um, you know catching those guys has always been exciting you know getting those guys warm. All right, last thing I got for you, Willie. We're gonna challenge an age-old myth in the game of baseball. Are catchers really that slow, or are there just a couple particular guys given a bad impression? I think, huh, I mean, I wouldn't call myself slow. At Georgetown, our two catchers were two of the fastest kids on the team. Um, I think maybe some baseball players, as they're growing up, if they're slower, they'll throw them behind the plate. But I think there's definitely fast catchers. I definitely think that they're not, they're not mutually exclusive. I think you can find some catchers that can burn pretty well. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this has been Carter Bainbridge along with Falmouth bullpen catcher Willie Baker. 
Next game for the Doors is up next tonight here against the Hyannis Harbor Hawks. First pitch is at 6.